Hey guys, welcome up to season four, episode 19 of Bones. Here we go. Class clock, all right? Keep her lips, keep her bathed in the glow, all right? Yes, nice, okay, right in front of you, that's it, that's the future. Yes, speak, oh, 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 oh. Those creatures, they are deaf. Oh, yes, beautiful, beautiful, terror, fear. Okay, gaze, everyone, look at the beastie birds, my darling. Yes, look at the beastie birds. It's an ear. Hey, so what's it look like to you? An ear. An ear. Did you just make a joke? No. Sports terms. <laughs> Bones, remember we talked about this. Oh, um... Ah, softball. Good. You're getting better. The total mass in this garbage bag does not add up to an entire human being. Right. Do you want to guess what happened to this human being? No. I know you'd say that. I just had to ask you. <laughs> Alright, let's scour it up. It's going to fall to me to empty these boxes. Oh, my God. <laughs> So gold. The ancient Sumerians were prone to spreading gold dust over the body during funeral rites. Did the Sumerians chop up the body into little tiny bits first? Not to my knowledge. <laughs> yes. Not to my knowledge. A black pearl? Pearls, symbolizing eggs or rebirth and resurrection, were used in many South Seas. <laughs> Did they chop up the bodies into little tiny bits first? I've begun to apprehend your point, Dr. Swan. Uh, I cannot snack during this show. It's impossible. What are you listening to? Is that your dad? I have to go. Sure, why? I have to save Hodgins' life. Cellular level. I don't care about the cellular level. It means the victim was dead before being chopped up. You care about that, oh, right? No, I mean, that's... really, what I'm interested in is how this guy got chopped up. Good. Now, this here? Why do I feel these family? My father is here. What was it then? Carbonaceous. Why does that matter? It's what meteorites are made of. Your father blames me for our breakup? Well, he has sort of a blind spot when it comes to me, so I think you should just get out of town until I can call him off. Stop. It's obvious. It was frostbitten while climbing Everest, then struck by a meteor, then dumped into a vacant lot in two garbage bags and eaten by crows. All right, obvious. It's so obvious. Hey, it's a star. Meteorites travel at 25,000 miles per hour. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm not just spouting useless facts. You do not have a chance of recreating those velocities. I'm staying or going. Another set of eyes and ears taking note can never be amiss. <laughs> <laughs> what possible information could this experiment provide us that you couldn't get mathematically? Mathematics is theory. To prove what exactly? <laughs> Just do it. So, you found out where the meteor came from? From the solar nebula. Whoa. What the hell is that? Everything's fine. You should get out of here before lockdown. Fuck can't get me up. You know you're grounded, right? <laughs> Do you even know what superconductivity is? I know it's better than normal nope. conductivity. Agent Booth, Dr. Brennan. I'm Christopher Baudet. Why do you look like a surfer? Generating power from earthquakes. Groundbreaking. <laughs> General. <laughs> yeah, one I've never, ever heard before. I'm Landis Collin. Thank you, Chris. Is that clicking noise attached to your blindness, Dr. Collin? Yes, it's a prototype. Forgiven. Why do I, I know? Was turned down for fellowship here at the institute. You know, no, that is not true. I think I know that actor. His glasses are throwing me off. I think. Future, at eternal, at glory, at. He was in the hundred. To eternity, to glory. He was in. To future. Once upon right. a time. I say your motto in the ancient language. She is editor in chief of the Color Journal, perhaps the most important venue for scientific publishing in the world. Please, what has happened? We have discovered some human remains which contain what is most certainly your fiance's engagement ring. When was the last time you saw her, Milton? Um, I suffer from a kind of chronological dyslexia which makes it very difficult for me to place discrete events accurately on a linear timeline. It's 
one's all yours. Why couldn't what you have just said no? Are you working <laughs> I'm endeavoring to find a way to transmit single cell organisms using common ponds going from one location to another. Dude. Can you try a spoon? I've had some success vibrating two separate samples of single cell scum in complete symmetry at a quantum level. Well, that's very impressive. You wouldn't understand it. Of course I do. Beam me up, Scotty. Very good. Yes, exactly. Unless, of course, the person who killed her wanted to take over her position. Ooh. Which who? I last saw Diane when Jennifer asked to stop arguing so loudly. Jennifer Keating, Dr. Sidman's other grad student? Yes. Jenny works in Cosmogenic Guys. Wait, so who would take her spot? To make her cranky. Hey! I never get mad at Diane. Another Why? familiar Diane? face. Publish or perish. One what? of those motherfuckers what did are you arguing about? I have no idea. Could have been about anything. You did it. It is possible that she is dead. Uh, possible? Bones account for approximately percent of the mass of a human being. She's in pieces. Given that the total like bone mass here a thousand pieces. Eight point nine kilograms. What did I tell you? That we aren't allowed in the same room without supervision. Why? Because we were stupid enough to fire a cannon indoors. <laughs> so, how do you the get a body like that? They are unusually clean. So the cells could have burst as a result of ice microcrystals. Freeze the body and then shatter the bones. Liquid nitrogen. What? You have my permission to confer with Dr. Hodgins on the subject. Uh, Any damages come out of your face. Yes, it is him. Okay. Well, isn't that the thing like, in Europe I know that's going to create a black hole and end the universe? Well, come on, don't look at each other like that. I bet neither one of you know how to make your own beer. You realize you just said, don't look at each other to a blind man. You have records of threats made against her? He's not actually well, no, blind, so. so that we look at was going to <laughs> He's playing a blind man. If it matters, Diane and Christopher were also enjoying a sexual relationship. Whoa! If it matters? Completely rational. Except for the completely insane part where somebody killed Diane Sidman. Someone who had access to some stuff. I'll be right back, Dr. Rodette. Everyone there is creepy. Well, if you think they're creepy, then you must think I'm creepy. Well, you have a creepy mode. <laughs> I, I don't know what that means. Little brain, big brain. He freely admits that he had an ongoing sexual relationship with the victim. Oh, that little brain. But he denies ever having been in love. He said in love very sarcastically, like it was something that happened to lower primates. Okay, uh, who else was he sleeping with? I didn't know. <laughs> what does that matter? Not everybody is so, you know, adult, you know, or rational, or hey, Clear thinking. <laughs> or heartless as him. That was a lot of quotation marks. Is he gonna do it again? We're young, close quarters, we stimulate each other. Mm -hmm. Who else recently? <laughs> Jennifer, who was also seeing Milton. So is it possible that Jennifer was trying to get rid of a romantic rival? Landis could have killed Diane for sleeping with me. Or I could have killed Diane for sleeping with Landis. Oh. Or Milton could have killed Diane for sleeping with me and Lance. What the hell? Everyone sleeps with everyone. He enjoys this way too much. Basically, Hudgens sees himself as Dr. Nemo. Liquid nitrogen freezes at 63 degrees Kelvin. When I drop this super cool turkey, once again, technically not super cool. <laughs> It'll shatter into hundreds of bits. Watch it not. Two. One. Oh, watch it. It's just a glint of blood. Why did it bounce? Like a basketball. I knew it wasn't gonna shatter. Psychiatrist or psychologist? He's just a psychologist. Uh. <laughs> The point is, <laughs> out of the over 800 threats made against Dr. Diane Sidman, you, Dr. Mullins, are the only person I thought merited question. You work as a welder? Welding is a real job, unlike psychology. 
How could a reasonable human being with what a physics degree honestly Why is he coming at him? a particle accelerator in Europe is going to create a black hole which will destroy the solar system? Of the 800 threats I studied, 106 of them were from you. Then her body was dropped and shattered. Ridiculous. A frozen cadaver would simply bounce. Ooh. Any moron should know that. The point is, as a welder, you have access to liquid nitrogen. My IQ is 160. Jesus Christ, these guys are so but stuck up. I'm smart enough to know when to shut up and ask for a lawyer. Knowing that Diane Sidman is dead, I'm going to sleep about 50 million times better tonight. Huh. She died with leukemia? What? How does a perfectly healthy young woman develop advanced leukemia in two weeks? Yeah. Medically intelligent people have been known to commit murders in ludicrously complicated ways, virtually ensuring their capture. Isn't that... Uh, it's, it's, it's Angela's dad. It's not uncommon for men to fear their lover's male parent. Creeps me out. <laughs> the English people say, love up. No like that clearly indicates that what he said is true. The love is from Texas. The blues is known as the devil's music because those most adept are thought to have made pact with the devil and thus fear no earthly law because they're already doomed to eternity. <laughs> Harsh. Thank you, Vincent. I feel much better now. <laughs> I happen to have a great deal of insight into the whole blues culture. Must have been a steady exposure over time. Women spent almost all their time at work. Hmm. There's nothing radioactive in this room. No, we're in this room, so. I <sighs> wore these things. Get up. But the stain here must have hit Diane Sidman almost exactly where the tumor formed. Texting me on the cancer chair? <laughs> Your surplus is not radioactive anymore. Well, I touch it with my bare hands. See? <laughs> She's great. I just love her. The average chocolate bar has eight insect legs in it. So she said, hopefully. What? Metaphorically, you're looking for insect legs? And I may have found some. These cylindrical notches on the left clavicle. Two of them, yes. They may be stab wounds. Daughter isotopes are what's left behind after radioactive isotopes decay. Hmm. So there was a radioactive isotope on Diane Simmons' chair. Yeah, a strong one. You disapprove of the collar institute? Up and forward are only two directions. Science should look in all directions. You taught me that. Oh. I did. Every day. Thank you. Yes. Yes. It's like Club Med Mensa around here. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. <laughs> you see how he looks at you? How he looks at me? He's blind. It's two literal bones. His fiance was just murdered and he's already moving on. Well, she's True. gone. Good people, they leave marks on each other. The least we could do is let them fade away naturally, not, you know, scrape them off or paint over them with new marks. Hey, I have a very fun and uh, very sexy guy. <laughs> so you just think that if two people care about each other, they leave metaphorical marks, which should be allowed to fade naturally? You heard me, but you just didn't understand me. I wonder that about you all the time. My apologies. Were you looking for me? We need to see your radioactive isotopes. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. them for months, but something wrong? Some of my vows are missing. <laughs> Someone took two? Why is he just randomly playing on the That's good. Just good. randomly playing on the street, why? I mean, go for it. Why would a guy like you play on a street corner? That's what I'm saying. It depends on who exactly you think I am. Mojo. 
You misunderstand the term. <laughs> what I meant was that... <laughs> Run away. <laughs> These points on the spine. So I don't get what that means. Essentially, the skeleton <laughs> broke apart at the weakest points. The way a building would fall apart during an earthquake. So. The victim was killed, we're not positive how yet, then frozen, then shaken until all the bones fell apart? Not shaken. Vibrated. Vibrated until the frozen bones shattered. Vibrated like how? I don't understand this one. This is Hot. way above me. That whole sell your soul at the crossroads thing, I'm buying it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I secretly had a thing for Edge. Now it's gone, like like wiped from the memory banks. <laughs> so I had to know that already, right? Why did you Why? say that? He's the one who's working on transporting matter through vibration. <laughs> what an idiot! You understand that? <laughs> hey, he tries to transport it to outer space. Whatever ends up frozen chili con carne. Very impressed. Yeah, well, you know, that's possible. Yeah, that's possible. Lots of possible. Dr. Call is working on echolocation for blind. So basically, we're ah, going to true. I suggest we find an apparatus capable true. of shattering the flash frozen. It could literally be anybody there. Dr. Earthquake. Dr. Earthquake. Is, yeah, so is he dead? Tell me what I'm looking for. Standing way. Oh, no, right. we're looking. Tell me what I'm looking for. Again. What about that? What are you leaning up against? Leaning on it. Don't the go in there. See, of the human body is between three and seven hertz. The body is. Seven oh, I knew it. Hey. Oh my God, you oh, dumbasses! No, 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 no. We have to get out of here. <laughs> but what we have to do here is we have to try to counteract the the wavelength. <laughs> <laughs> Might want to try resting before communicating. <laughs> Don't need to be deaf as well as blind. I almost, I, I feel like I kind of saw who should close the door. Right now, this notch you found. I feel like it could have been him, but I don't think so. Graphite clay. It was someone else. I'm not sure. See, you don't go into locked doors. Mechanical right? To the windpipe or the carotid. Victim dies as deep frozen. Uh, the uh, freeze-dried chunks are swept into garbage bags. Oh no, please, you keep it. I don't think I could ever regard it in the same manner again. <laughs> Thank you very much. I warned the man, Angie. Could he have stopped it? Yeah. Yeah. But so could I. Well, his daddy could come down and kick your ass. <laughs> I can do everybody's job. I will ameliorate my vengeful intentions. Ameliorate? Honest? Honest. Honest as a Texas sundown. <laughs> what if you kill Diane Sidman? And I'd kill us. Oh man, I think it was... Uh, sexual jealousy as a motive for this murder? Of course It's not know. him. I think it was well, the one who saved him. Might people say that Diane Sidman was stabbed to death with a pencil? Or pulled them out. Oh, blood? In the rest of this chamber, obviously you can't see that, but it's right there. <laughs> no, 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 means blood. Which provides for a number of false positives. Vegetables, fruit pulp. Cleaning agents, insecticides. Various glues, rust remover, ketchup, seaweed, Oh sap, my god. Algae. Is this luminol stuff ever useful? I'm just asking because it, yes, it is. <laughs> Fine, I'll shut up. <laughs> 
Luminol reacts with Pond's gun. So? It reacts with right. what? Come on. Oh. Oh, oh, God. Ow. That's for killing my fiance. One person to your left, Dr. Collar. <laughs> my apologies, Agent Boone. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go what? I was wondering, uh, could I have your phone number? Wow. <laughs> Told you. Really? Have decided upon no. What? I feel like it That's wasn't him. Was it actually him? <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, I'm all right. You know what? You're the only smart person I really like. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> what, what about what about me? <laughs> <laughs> so I said an This episode was one of the, the funniest. Only if you share credit with her. So he killed her. Particle. There's only one. He gives her what? Cancer, but she lives to me. That is cold. That is wow. Creepy. You said I have a creepy mode. I apologize. Okay, look, I wasn't in my element. Well, every element is your element. No, that is not true. Okay, listen, you're gonna figure out that I'm really stupid. What? Don't worry about that. Mm. I figured out a long time ago how stupid you are. Mm. <laughs> what I just said <laughs> is true, and yet it really sounded wrong. What I should say is that I don't care how stupid you are. <laughs> Intelligence, which I have, and sweets, even though his oh, no. is so misdirected as to be meaningless. Right. Wow, that <laughs> handful of knuckles at that time. And Hodgins. Not so much, but she's very talented. Thank you very much. <laughs> but then there's another quality, which is the ability to use intelligence. Thanks, Gods. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Speaking of Hodgins, has anybody seen Hodgins? Uh-oh. What? Attempted murder. <laughs> it could be classified as attempted murder, but it's, it's irrelevant. Um, wow. Respect, though. What? What? That is the biggest. That's that's such a awesome. Don't mess with my daughter. Punishment. I absolutely love that. That. That's hilarious. <laughs> that was one of the funniest episodes the whole time. Like, of the entire show. That was great. <laughs> that was great. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. I really thought it was going to be that other the blind guy. I really did. But, no. Well, you win some, you lose some. See y'all next time.